Hey everyone, this is Kevin again. Um, earlier today I did an, a study on Philippians 2, verse 12. I would encourage you to go back and, and check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. I think you'll be blessed by it if you're a born-again believer in Jesus Christ. Um, but as you can tell by this graphic, uh, the topic today is this the thing that you're hearing the most of in the news right now. It's the big topic, which is the coronavirus. Now, some of the of the, the watchmen have been uh, talking about this recently, and they're talking about also here coming up in the next few days, couple of days, the uh, the feast of Purim, and how that might have to do with Bible prophecy. Uh, I don't know for sure if it does or not, but some people are looking at it and hopeful. And I would just say this, uh, this is the year 2020, uh, the way things are going right now, it seems like maybe finally prophetically things are looking up for the church as we see these things happening. And this is one of those pestilence things right now that's going on with this coronavirus, which started in Wuhan, China and, uh, and it spread very quickly uh, in that area to the point where they basically shut down that city. They've shut down a lot of areas in China and it's hurting their economy and it's hurting our economy by way of, well, it's hurting our stock market. I'll say that our economy is still doing good here in America, but it's kind of hurting the stock market lately. At least that's what they they're blaming it on. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, Wuhan, China is just basically like a ghost town now. People are not going out uh, unless they absolutely have to, to try to get some food or whatever. But, but it's very, there's a lot of fear, a lot of fear because of how quickly and easily this coronavirus, COVID-19, how quickly it spreads. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different um, beliefs concerning this virus. Uh, as far as how it started, whether or not it was a, a bioweapon that was, that was created in a lab there in Wuhan and got out accidentally or by per on purpose. Some people actually believe that it was done on purpose to depopulate the earth. Um, Brother Barry Scarborough made a video, I think yesterday, uh, concerning this, and he estimates, just doing the math, He's estimating that about a, uh, over a million people in America eventually will die from this. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell. Um, at the same time, there's information coming out showing that this is not any worse than the flu. Um, that the symptoms are very same, pretty much the same as what you would have as, if you have a cold. And But the fact of the matter is, you know, and... I think there's about 3% that die from it, somewhere around there. That means the other percentage of people that have it are getting over it, and they don't die from it. And there's just a lot of information one way or the other on this. It's hard to know which one is right. Um, you know, it does seem, at this time at least, it seems pretty, pretty bad. I mean, and... Uh, could lead into, you know, what we see coming up as the 70th week of Daniel. But either way, um, it just seems like there's a lot of, a lot of watchmen that are watching what's going on with this. And they think that it is definitely, uh, uh, you know, judgment or that it's leading into that time period. Um, I would say it's definitely part of what we've been in, which is a time of sorrows. Uh, leading up to the, the 70th week of Daniel, it's just a matter of when does it start? You know, when does the rapture of church be happen? And when is the 70th week of Daniel begin? You know, will it begin this year? Will it begin next year? What year will it begin? We don't really know yet, but this is definitely something that we keep watch on and we'll track and, uh, see how far this goes. Um, you know, there's, there's some people believing that, uh, you know, sometime in this spring or summer, possibly, it'll be time for the church to go home. 
Um, I would love to say that I could absolutely say for sure that would happen, but I can't. But, uh, but I will say that this coronavirus thing, if it does get out of hand, um, it could, you know, it could eventually cause a big, uh, pretty good sized depopulation, uh, of the world. Um, so I think it's, it's pretty heavily gone. It's in fact, a lot of people in Italy already, um, and it's causing people just to really kind of be in fear, stay in their, in their houses, not really getting out. Um, you're seeing it happening on cruise ships, people uh, getting infected on cruise ships. And, and there's got to be a lot of fear on those cruise ships when that happens, because there's thousands of people on those cruise ships. And in some cases, those cruise ships are being quarantined themselves. Um, and this could actually, you know, hurt the, the cruise business a lot, you know, cause people to, to not go on cruises out of fear. So anyway, just in watching this going on, um, uh, it's just, you know, it could end up being really bad or it could end up being not as bad as we thought. We've had other things that have happened, other kinds of viruses like, this similar to this in the past, like MERS and SARS and, uh, you know, the bird flu and, uh, and swine flu and all these other things. It's just a matter of how bad will this one be, but it is dominating the news these days. And so I just wanted to make a video concerning this and, um, to tell all my brothers and sisters in Christ just to, to keep looking up because it looks like at least from what I see, that our redemption draws nigh. So with that, uh, I'm going to say bye for now, and uh, God bless all of you. And, you know, if you don't know for sure that if you were to die to die today, or if you were to die anytime soon from the coronavirus or anything else, you need to know that you're saved. You need to know that you have eternal life. You need to know Jesus Christ as your Savior. You need to know that he died on the cross to pay for your sins, if you don't know already, and believe on him. That I dealt with this a lot in the previous video of the Philippians 2.12 study about the fact that it's believing on Jesus Christ that saves us. Grace, we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. That's, that's how we get saved. And it's the believing on Jesus Christ that saves you. And nothing else, not your works, not anything you've done, because you can't save yourself. But only Jesus Christ can do that for you, and you have to believe on him. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now.